Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your weekly messages. So uh, I'm going to start by using a few decks here. Okay, let me go ahead and shuffle. I have my incense cone that I almost forgot to turn off. Would have been all bad. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are doing freaking awesome. Okay, I want to start by using the Rebel deck. Okay, to get a little... Uh, <clears throat> hardcore on you guys because sometimes we need to we all need that one person to be in our face to tell us you know how it's fucking how it's fucking is <laughs> kind of like going to boot camp and having billy blanks in your face telling you fucking do it get your ass up you know what i mean all right let's see upcoming week for aries please give me a few cards for aries for the upcoming week Wow, it says get over yourself, pull your shit together, <coughs> help people give back and do good shit for humanity. See that? That's your message, Aries. Get some more. It says you are being shady. Aries, are you being a little meanie? You're being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. You do not want to. <laughs> do you need to calm the fuck down? <laughs> <laughs> this week someone might be trying you okay or you're just being a brat <laughs> it could be that you're just being a little brat let's see here wow stop talking shut your mouth and listen just listen maybe you're just yapping too much trying to fight people getting a little aggressive a little defensive then we have you look like a shit show oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> you're a hot mess fact clean yourself up oh it kind of looks like you are a big fucking hot mess too because look at all these fucking cards here <laughs> they're telling you to clean your shit up <laughs> all right we just needed to add a little humor to it right <laughs> okay let's get some cards i'm going to be using the psychic tarot with the osho zen tarot too messages for aries for the upcoming week We have firm foundation, rejoice, and celebration, and financial and material changes. Ooh la la. Let's get some clarifiers. Aries of coming week. The source. Politics. Ooh, are you being, you know, are you getting into politics? Maybe that's why it's telling you to shut your mouth. You might be getting in a little heated conversation. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And then we have maturity. All right. So this upcoming week, it seems as though you will be winning a battle. Okay, that's probably why people are getting pissed off or whatever. Something's going on and you're fighting people or standing your ground maybe you know you're doing it in a mature matter okay maybe you are growing up okay maybe you are taking the necessary steps to to uh, take on res financial responsibilities financial and material changes with maturity here so there's definitely some growing up that you have been doing putting your responsibilities first Okay, not worrying about the wants that you are desiring in life. You know, like, oh, I want this, but do you need it? I feel like you are really focusing more on your um, your responsibilities and what you need versus what you want. <coughs> and that's a form of, you know, growing up, maturity, really, if you think about it. Um, and then we obviously have politics, so you could be, you know... Uh, you could be getting a little heated argument over politics. You know, someone's wearing a fake mask, little snake here. You know, you could be one way or someone you know is acting this way and you are defending your beliefs and they are someone very high up the government's ass or it could be you and you're just going back and forth and that is why we have these cards here where it says stop talking and, you know, <laughs> all this shit. So I definitely see that going on. We have firm foundation and then we have the source. 
So I do feel like you have been looking within, connecting to source, to spirit, uh, finding the the balance between the material and the spiritual realm. And that's what's helping you keep uh, your firm foundation. I, I feel like that's what's keeping you grounded. Um, everybody needs that one thing that keeps them grounded. And I feel like for you, that spirit, you have a really close connection to spirit. Some of you really do. And you kind of have like this fear if you are not doing what you're supposed to do or if you are not walking your true authentic path, you feel like you are disrespecting the universe or your, your higher power. And that's what keeps you grounded on your feet and, and, and it keeps you stable, really. Um, we have rejoice and celebration. So there could be something that's coming up that you have been working really hard towards that you are now uh, celebrating. This could be small milestones, big milestones. This could be um, birthday parties. This could be a celebration, a wedding, a birthday, a, a baby shower. It could be anything. There's definitely a party or some kind of uh, celebration that you are toasting to. And it could be because of the financial and mater uh, material changes that are, that are going on right now. So it could be something that you... Maybe you got a promotion or a raise or maybe you made it to CEO or now you're the owner of your own company and, you know, you needed that and now you are, you know, very, very firm with a firm foundation. You are standing your ground. You're doing what you need to do to keep yourself stable. So let's get some cards here. Just a few cards for Aries. Yeah, we have the Two of Swords, uh, the Two of Swords reversed, okay, so there's definitely a decision that you made in regards to, I don't know what it's in regards to, it could have been business, you know, you had to really start thinking in a mature, big girl, big boy manner, and that's what helped you succeed in this type of thing. Some of you are making it to... Maybe you got a government job or something and now you're into politics and people are like, you're a fucking traitor and this and that and you're having to defend yourself and some something gets into a heated argument or whatever. <laughs> it's just like, oh man. Then we have the two of cups reversed, okay? So that could have been a decision that you made maybe with a lover. Um, you made the decision to maybe drop someone that you were constantly fighting with or someone who was blocking you from moving forward and that actually helped you to succeed or you're celebrating your 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 freedom now you could be celebrating that you're getting in a committed relationship after a period of being stagnant and stuck and not getting anywhere with them so that could be another thing that's uh up ahead for you let's get some more yeah mother of pentacles definitely an offer okay you are definitely making an offer to uh, someone. It could be an earth sign. It doesn't have to be an earth sign, but that's exactly what I'm seeing in regards to giving them your your hand in marriage or saying yes or feeling stable, very stable in your home life, in your career. Um, maybe you feel like you don't have time for a committed relationship or to be dating because you're really focused on your finances and your career. And that is why you are rejoicing because you, you, you stayed focused and you are now celebrating, you know. <clears throat> Ooh, we have, what is this? Three, six, nine. Sorry, I really don't use this deck much. We have the Nine of Pentacles, but it came out reverse. So yeah, you definitely have been working on your finances. Maybe some of you have not been, you know, financially stable in the past. And because you were focused on that, you let go of maybe dating, you sacrificed putting dating away or whatever and that has really kept you grounded so that was a mature move for you and you know you did what you had to do and now you are definitely reaping the benefits so uh we have here what is this i believe this is hmm i think this is the moon i'm not i'm not really sure um, I don't really use this deck much, so uh, it could be the Nine of Wands, if I'm correct. If it's the Nine of Wands, you could have been you could have been a little defensive, you know, 
trying to defend what you believe again maybe fighting or feeling a little defensive or overprotective very protective of what you believe and what you stand for um also subconscious things something deep in your subconscious mind that you were trying to manifest or thinking about in regards to love or, or career that's coming to light that's going to be known known and it's going to give you a sense of freedom is what i'm seeing here so yay aries okay son of pentacles so the son of pentacles this is definitely someone you could be helping someone go to college you could be helping them you could be their help helping stepping stone to get to college too this could be someone who's helped you along the way to get to where you needed to be financially and a stable wise and i feel like you will be helping or you will be giving back to those who've helped you along the way whether this is you know partnering up with someone in business and 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 love or whatever it is that definitely there is definitely going to be money coming in and you will be it went kind of went from rags to riches <laughs> is what i'm getting here to be metaphorically you know speaking so that's exactly what i see okay so that was your message for this upcoming week aries please like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in your next video bye